Okay, Jim, you're going to have to call the Roosevelt Bridge on Channel 9. Tell him that you're passing Green 23 westbound and you'd appreciate the next opening. And you may slow down to wait for him to open the bridge so you don't get caught in the currents. Do I need to tell him that? Well, don't tell him you're going to slow down, but tell him you're westbound, you're at Green 23. Okay. Roosevelt Bridge, Roosevelt Bridge, Mazinga. Westbound at marker 23. Requesting bridge opening. Requesting bridge opening. In the road about bridge, okay, Captain, bring your up closer to the bridge, we'll get over. Next, sir. Beautiful. Now, here's the tricky part here at the Roosevelt Bridge and Stewart. We've got one more green to pass. It'll be on our port side. You might see it there on your chart plotter. See with the big circle around it. Yep, 23 Alpha. Leave that to your port. So Georgia, you need to find that out the window. I see it. See the Quonset hut? Yes, it's dead ahead. Almost at 12 o'clock. To the right of the Quonset hut, you got that flat roofed building. That's where it is. It's the great, uh, great big door. Yep. That on your port side, Captain, because it's very shallow. Very shallow, and what a lot of people do is they just pass that 23. We just passed, yeah, and then they aim straight for the bridge and then run hard aground. Oh gosh. So, this is where paying attention, making your trip plan in the morning, using your paper chart and also your GPS chart plotter, all of these different tools come together to make it safe. You can see that outboard boat just rounded that red. Pardon me, that green 23 alpha. Right. Can I have flashing green 23 alpha on my notes? Yes, 23 um, green alpha. Okay. Yes, Captain. Thank you. Keep it on your port. And then when we get up there, start watching the blue bridge. Watch the car traffic, see if it slows down and stops. Then watch the wooden barricades, see that they come down then watch the middle of the bridge if it pops and starts to open. But the next trick is we do not want to be trapped in between that 65 foot concrete bridge and the up railroad bridge and the down blue car bridge. Well is he going to open it up early enough for that or is he going to wait for me to get under the tall bridge? He's kind of waiting for everything so what we want to do is slow our approach after we make this turn. Okay. Now don't get too close to the port side of that because it rocks a shallow area, Jim. Yep. Now I can still see cars on the Blue Bridge and I can see a couple of trailer boats coming through there. So, line us up for the three different bridges. There's two little guys coming out of the bridge, by the way. Very and flat. Like one looks like a house, I mean a pontoon boat. And then slow us down. Uh, look at the cars. The cars might be slowing down a little bit. Now, and then make sure you're on hand steer, not on autopilot. And look at all that rough water underneath the big cement bridge. So I can see the cars are slowing down. So you might have the lights on, but it did not put the barricades down yet. So we're looking good. If you want to learn more about cruising, you know who to call. Ask Captain Chris. Right? Right. <laughs>